Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the mini fish scale. This was designed by Christine, also known as Lumi Mama on Instagram, and it is the miniature version of the original fish scale, which is also featured on our channel. So, the mini fish scale was originally designed so that it would be made horizontally on the rainbow loom but I have since figured out how to make it on two bar pins or a monster tail so that it comes out in a fishtail manner so as you can see on the outside these are the original fish scales these two have triple capped bands whereas this one is just double capped so if you like the look of this better, instead of triple capping the bands, just double cap them. And without wasting your time any further, let's get started. So for this tutorial, we'll be making this exact bracelet right here. As you can see, it's gold and glitter gold and glitter white and clear. So, we'll be making this bracelet on the monster tail. If you don't have a monster tail, you can also make it on the rainbow loom. And if you skip to the end of this video, you'll see me make a sequence on the rainbow loom. But, since we're making it on the monster tail, the first thing you want to do is grab this band right here, which is a glitter gold, and you're going to place it triple capped on this top center peg right here. So if you don't know how to triple cap, you place the band on top, you twist it, then you bring this loop over and pull down just enough to twist it again and use the corner of that peg and push this end over completely and that'll give you a triple cap band. I'm just gonna push down and next, I'm going to grab three golds. And the first gold I'm placing is going to connect these two pegs. Second gold is going to connect the two center pegs. And third gold is going to connect bottom right to top center. Okay? At this point, you want to grab your hook, grab all three ends of that triple cap band. And you want to make sure that you do not alter the order of these golds right here. So a good tip is to hold your thumb here, preventing any of the bands from falling off of this peg. And grab these three ends of this triple cap and bring it up and over just like that. Okay? Once the triple cap is over, you want to grab that top band. Looks like the bottom, but it's really the top because this loom is upside down. Grab this top band, pull it off, and bring it to the bottom right peg. Then grab the next top band, bring it down into the center. And last, bring this end down into the bottom left. Just like that. Okay? Now you want to push down. And this is where it gets a little different. If you take a look at the completed bracelet, you'll see the next scale on the right is going to be glitter white and clear. On the left, it's going to be glitter gold and gold. And these are the scales that we're applying right now. And I always like to start off with the gold scale first because the back is going to alternate creating a symmetric bracelet. So starting with the gold side, you want to connect the bottom left and top left with one gold. Then grab another gold and connect the bottom left to top center. Then on the right, you want to grab a clear bottom right to top right and then another clear bottom right to top center just like that and now you want to grab your hook 
and you want to bring these bottom two bands up over this peg but I would advise you use the left corner of this peg to bring this up because it will minimize the chance of bands falling off bring it up over this corner and then tug the other end over then over here you want to bring that top center band up and to that top center peg then bring this other end up and over this top center peg then over here you want to grab the bottom two but again from the inside corner so this time it's going to be the right of the peg you're going over and bringing it up okay I'll push down slightly and next is going to be a little tricky it's a technique that I've never seen before but it's very useful we're going to place a triple capped glitter white on top of this peg so one two and then bring this last end three there's one triple capped triple cap gold on this peg one two three okay and now we want to pull these bottom two bands on top of this triple cap so I'm just gonna push down almost as much as I can but you want to make sure that the order of these bands do not get mixed up so I'm just gonna grab both of these kind of tug rotate around and as you can see that top band is still on top let it go do the same thing on this one grab the bottom two bands kind of rotate swing it around above that triple cap and once it's above you can grab the triple cap band again using the inside corner we're gonna bring this up and over and this triple cap band as well bring it up and over okay now once it's up and over starting with the gold side I'm gonna grab that top band take it off and bring it to the top center peg and grab the other band and bring it up to the top left peg and go back to the bottom right peg grab that top band and bring it up to the top center peg and bring the remaining band to the top right peg so as you can see we already created our first three scales and this was basically our first sequence so if you take a look at the completed bracelet that is these three scales the next scale we're doing is this scale right here so at this point you want to grab a glitter gold and then you want to place the glitter gold on top of this peg triple cap so I'm just gonna push down as much as I can the order of these bands don't really matter so I'm gonna grab this glitter gold triple cap it on this peg one two three okay now just like we did in our first step we're gonna grab one gold place it on these two pegs one gold on the center two pegs make sure the order is intact and one gold from the bottom right to top center Oops. okay now now we want to take our hook and grab both ends over here and bring it to this peg 
Well, we're going to do it one at a time. So this top clear, bring it down to the bottom right. This other clear, bring it down to the bottom right. And over here, without disorganizing these three bands, we're going to grab as many of these bands as possible. I'm holding over here with my thumb to prevent these bands from falling off. And I'm going to bring this up and over then grab some more of these bands over here bring them up and over and grab the rest of these bands or as much as you can without grabbing those three bands on top bring them up and over and last up and over okay once you do that next you want to grab this top band over here bring it down into the bottom left peg push down grab the remaining band bring it down into the bottom left peg and at this point you want to grab the top band on this top center peg and bring it down into the bottom right peg And the next band, you want to bring it down into the bottom center peg. And then last, you want to grab this band and bring it down into the bottom left peg. Okay? And you want to push down. All right? So next, if you look at this side, you'll see there's clear over here and all gold over here. And if you look at the bracelet, you'll see it alternates between clear and gold and clear and gold. So on this side, we wanna do the gold and on this side, we wanna do the clear. So we're gonna grab a gold. Remember, always start with the gold. And go up on the two right pegs and bottom right the top center and on the left clear from bottom left to top left and clear from bottom left to top center and now like we did before there's four bands this time and we want to grab all of these bottom four bands and bring them up but I'm gonna do it two at a time because it's easier so I'm just going to grab those two center bands or third and fourth from the bottom and bring it up again using the inside left corner of this peg. Bring it up and bring the remaining two bottom bands up and over. In the center peg, we want to bring these bands up one at a time to the top center peg. So one, bring it up to bring it up and on this leftmost peg same as we did on this right peg two at a time these two center bands third and fourth from the bottom bring it up from the inside corner and grab those bottom two remaining bands bring it up from the inside corner and push down and again a triple cap glitter gold on this right peg a triple cap glitter white on this left peg so one two three push down as much as possible and then one two three push down as much as possible and again, grab those bottom two and kind of swing it on top, making sure that the order of these bands do not get mixed up. Same thing with over here. Grab those bottom two bands, swing it. Might have to rotate all the way. Swing it on top. 
let it go. Now using your hook, grab that triple cap, use the inside corner, bring this up. Same with this side, grab that triple cap, use that inside corner, bring it up. And starting with the gold, grab that top gold, let me just push down over here to make some space. Grab that top gold, bring it to the top center peg, then bring the other gold and to the top right peg. Then on this side, top clear, bring it to the top center peg and remaining clear to the top left peg. Okay, and push down. So we just finished our second sequence. So I'm just gonna do two more sequences in detail before I start speeding up. And then I'm gonna fade to the end to show you clipping. So again, a little bit faster. Triple cap gold in the center. One, two, three. Push down as much as I can. Gold from bottom left to top center. Gold from bottom center to top center. Gold from bottom right to top center. Push down. Use the hook. Grab these bands one at a time and bring them down to the bottom right peg. Two. And over here, we're grabbing the triple cap band. I'm holding down here with my thumb, bringing this triple cap band up and over, and grabbing some more of these bands, bring it down over the peg, and grabbing all of the rest, bring it over. Okay. Now these clears, grab the top one, bring it down to the bottom left, push down slightly, grab the other clear, bring it down to the bottom left. Okay, now you want to grab this top band and bring it down to the bottom right. Then bring this next gold down to the center. And then this last gold down to the bottom left. Okay, push down. Right now, again, starting with the clear side, we're going to take one gold, put it up from the bottom to top, and one gold from bottom left to top center. And on the right side, one clear bottom to top, and one clear bottom right to top center. Grab the hook, bring up those bottom four bands. I'm gonna grab the two center, or third or fourth from the bottom, bring it up. Then the bottom two remaining bands, bring it up. These center bands, one at a time, I'm gonna bring them up to the top center peg, one, two and on the left peg two center bands get over this right corner and the remaining two over the right corner then push down and then glitter clear or white triple cap two three push down Glitter gold, triple capped, one, two, and three. Push down, and again, using your hook, grab those bottom two bands, swing it up, over, and push down slightly. Grab these bottom two golds, swing it, around and when it's 
on top. Bring that cap down a little bit. Now you want to grab all three ends of that cap. Get over this inside corner. Bring it over very carefully. And on the right, grab all three ends of that triple cap. Bring it over the inside corner very carefully. And now starting with the gold side, grab the top, bring it up into the top center peg, push down, grab the other gold, bring it up into the top left peg, push down. Now on the right, grab the clear, bring it up to the top center peg, push down, grab the other clear and bring it up to the top right peg and push down. Now second sequence that I'll explain before just going really fast. Glitter gold, triple capped right here, one, two, three, push down, first gold, bottom left to top center, bottom center to top center, bottom right to top center, push down, and use your hook, grab that top clear, bring it down to the bottom right, Grab the other clear, bring it down to the bottom right. Over here, you want to hold with your thumb. Grab as many of these bands that are under these top three bands we just placed and bring it up very carefully. And grab as many more as you can. I like to work in threes. Bring it down. And grab the remaining bands, bring it over, and on the left, top left, bring it down to the bottom left. Then the next one, bring it down, push down, and grab the top band on this top center peg, bring it down to the bottom right. Next band, down to the center. Last band, down to the left. Push down. And again, over here, starting with the clear side, grab a gold, one up, and one up to the center. On the left, one clear, straight forward. And one clear up and to the right, to the center. And then grab your hook, grab the two center bands, bring it up from the inside of this peg. Grab the bottom two remaining up from the inside. Grab the top in the center, bring it up. And then the remaining band up and then the two center bands third and fourth from the bottom bring it up from the inside peg very carefully up and over and the remaining two up and over and try to make sure they're organized Yep, this is the band that goes on top, push down, push down, glitter gold triple capped on the right, one, two, and three, and glitter white triple capped on the left, one, two, three, and again, push down, 
Grab those bottom two, swing it around, get it on top of that triple cat. And once it's above, push down slightly. Same with the left peg. Grab those bottom two, swing it around. And once it's above, push down slightly. Grab the three ends of the triple cap with your hook. And from the inside peg, bring it up carefully and over. Let it go. Same with this peg. Grab three ends of the triple cap. From the inside peg, bring it up and over. And grab the top gold first. Bring it up into the top center. Push down. Grab the remaining band up into the top right. On this left peg, top clear up into the top center peg. Push down. Grab the remaining clear up into the top left. Okay, so there is another completed sequence. Now I'm just going to do one more sequence in fast motion and then I'm going to fade to the end where I'm ready for clipping. So, triple cap gold. All right, so now I'm just gonna fade to the end and once I'm ready for clipping, I'll be back. All right, now we're doing our last step, which is starting from the clear end, take a gold, connect this bottom left to the top center, and then take another bend, connect the bottom right to the top center. And like we did before, we are gonna grab those bottom four bands and just bring them up and over. So starting with third and fourth band from the bottom, I'm just bringing it up. Remember use the left corner of this peg for the safest way. And grab those bottom two, use the left corner and bring it up. And over here, we're bringing up both ends to the top center. So one at a time, one, push down, and two, bring it up, push down. And over here, third and fourth band from the bottom, clear and gold, use the right corner of this peg, bring it up. Let it go. Bottom two bends. Use the right corner. Bring it up. Let it go. And at this point, we can bring up this end. One up. Push down. And this end. Two up. Push down. Okay, now to clip it, we want to grab a single gold and cap it. So I'm just going to go in, rotate it, and create this cross, and bring this other end through. So I have a figure eight on my hook, and I'm going to grab two ends and just take it off so that I have this round cap band like this with the hole. And now, I want to grab my hook 
go inside all of these bands just like this bring my hook turn my hook around and grab those two ends okay once I grab those two ends I'm gonna turn my hook right here bring this down through turn it back and then bring this hook through these two ends just like that and now I have a cap band that is holding on to all of these ends and at this point I can just remove this okay so as you can see that is the completed mini fish scale with triple cap links. At this point, I can grab a C clip and clip the ends on the hook. So I'm just gonna tug back right here, get in, and clip these ends. And once I have all four ends, I can remove the hook. And now I just need to clip the other side. So I'm going to find that triple cap band that we started with and grab all three ends with the clip. All right? So there you have it. That is the finished mini fish scale. Designed by Lumi Mama. There's a double cap version for comparison. Right? This is Rob from Justin's Toys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this bracelet, give it a thumbs up. And special thanks to Lumi Mama for letting me record this tutorial. And check out our Instagram, Lumi Mama. Happy Lumi!